What is going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We are back with another bourbon review. End of the night here. I'm doing another end of the night pour. I decided let's go with Weller Special Reserve tonight. Now, Weller Special Reserve is a Buffalo Trace product. This is a weeded bourbon. So wheat being the second most dominant grain in the mash bill behind corn. And um, this is about seven years old. There's no age statement on the bottle, but in general, it's believed to be about seven years, which actually is the same as the 107. This is just down in proof. 107 is 107 proof, obviously. Uh, only 90 proof on this one. But um, we did mash bill, second most dominant grain behind the corn, and hard to find in parts of the country. I mean, a very, very inexpensive bottle, only about 20-ish dollars if you can find it. But hard to find. I've never even seen a bottle of this locally. I had to get this from other means. But, um, and I probably overpaid for my bottle, honestly, for what it is. But a, a bottle a lot of people seek out. I mean, supposedly in Texas, it's all over the place. So you can find it. It just depends on the part of the country you're in. So looking at the color on this, medium, golden, kind of a, yeah, a, a light to medium color, not overly dark. Wheat notes sometimes can add um, a different layer of sweetness to the bourbon. Wheat, wheat with mash bills can, so we'll see if that changes anything on this, guys. Let's go into the nose. Yeah, it's definitely like almost a... Uh, I always describe it as almost like a baked, fresh baked bread note. Same as what I got with the 107. It's just kind of mellowed down a little bit. It's still a, a vanilla caramel forward. It's just mellowed out a little bit, I guess. Um, it's not as rich as the 107 is. I'm a big fan of the 107. I really like that. Actually, a little bit of cinnamon on this as well. Um, the cinnamon note, I don't remember it coming through as much on the Special Reserve, but it is popping through a little bit right now, at least tonight. It's a little bit of cinnamon, baked bread, caramel, vanilla. Smooth and easy to smell. I mean, a nice, nice, sweet, sweet bourbon, so... All right, let's give it a taste here, guys. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, all the same notes really do come through on the palate. Um, still that baked bread note, but it's very light, very easy to sip. Uh, you know, the caramel, it, it's, it's really a mellow caramel. It's not overpowering. The caramel, the vanilla, they're kind of, they're very subtle on the back end. We got, you got to remember, this is only a $20 bourbon, depending on where you are. So it's definitely a budget option, if you can find it. And for the price, it's very, very solid. I don't get that classic Buffalo Trace Rickhouse smell when I get low in the glass. Which I love to get. I love every time I drink a Buffalo Trace product, I look forward to that smell. Cinnamon isn't really coming through on the palate, either. I did get it on the nose, but not so much on the palate. Um, solid, though. It's really solid for what it is. This is definitely a, a bourbon I would try to introduce to someone just starting into whiskey or starting into bourbon. They want something. It's not going to fight them. They'll be able to adapt too easily if their their palate isn't used to that. I mean, it's very smooth and only 90 proof. So... This is one I reached for with my wife and with uh, my mother, actually, when I introduced them to uh, to whiskey in, a, in those episodes I put up. If you haven't seen them, go check them out right now. But So overall, Weller Special Reserve is uh, it's a good pour. It's decent, especially for the price. You know, Again, the $20, that's, you can't beat that if you can find the bottle. Depending on where you are, what market, it's it's a good bourbon with all almost all Buffalo Trace products at this point. It is on allocation and difficult to find in certain parts of the country. So that is the challenge, but any of the Wellers are, are great products. The 12 year is almost impossible to find anywhere. If you can, it's on lottery. And in my opinion, the 12 year is over hyped for what it is. 107 is still great and solid. They are raising the price on the 107 though, up to about 50 bucks for a, a fifth versus 25. So that's unfortunate, but as far as special reserve goes, still a great value bourbon. And if you can find it, definitely go pick it up because it's going to be a good option for you. 
Thank you so much for watching the review today. If you like these types of videos, please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, I have to give a quick shout out to my newest patron, Dwayne Large. Thank you so much for joining the Bourbon Sane family. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, go check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash bourbon sane. As you can see, I still have some challenge coins left. About, um, maybe about 30 or 40 of these left, actually. So, if you're interested in getting one of those, please do go ahead and email me as well, bourbonsane at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this review today. Stay insane.